The Great Smokies. Nothing in my life had prepared me for the wonder of those mountains. Smoke blue and serene folded one behind the other. I counted 11 ranges rising up toward the vault of the sky. I didn't realize it then, but from the very first moment I saw them, the mountains were a source of peace and strength to me, always there to quiet my mind and satisfy my heart. I've been protected at home. It's a wonder my parents let me. The stench was overwhelming. That's it. I was glad Mrs. O'Teal had left the door open. So, tell me, how, how's my youngins doing in school? Well, I can't. I came to ask you about Melanie. Why doesn't she talk? Well, I. I don't know. I, I don't know. I. Got time to study on it much, neither. What with the youngins to feed and care for, and then I got the place to tend to. Isn't there a Mr. O'Teal? Oh, he, he comes around. But he, he don't want no fussing over gals. Oh, he, he, he wouldn't like your being here visiting. No, ma'am. But don't you want Mountie to talk? I do. But I reckon if the Lord wants her to, she will. I was just thinking that maybe there's something we could do to help her. A man wouldn't like it. Ma'am, I, I told you, he don't take to no fussing over gals. But he ain't here right now. We could just go on sitting and visiting. Mrs. O'Teal. We gotta let the Lord take care of my team. These figures. Could you get me a harder book? I want to smell nice. Have lots of pretty clothes. My teacher. Suddenly, I was determined to do one thing before I left. I want to go far away from home. Cross the mountains to the level end. Give me a fine job with plenty to eat. It would pleasure me to know the right way to put things down on paper for other folks, too. Generally, go by Sam Houston now.
Are you leaving us, teacher? Are you going back to the live lands? No. No, little girl, I'm going to stay. I think they will do.